So with scout model, uh, I have created an example list and you can find this in the documentation of scout model. And what's amazing about this one is to have a state management that is not logged to a specific widget. So what I mean with this is that I can press increment here, which will be like the example of a, a generated IntelliJ project with the increment. And then I can also show counter. So this will open a new screen with my counter. So I didn't need with this example. When I opened the new page here, show counter, I didn't need to pass in any value. So what this show counter actually does is that I have a scope model descendant, which fetches my counter model. And then I can use that to, to get, the, get the number. So as you can see, I have this value over here also, and I can increment this. And if I go back again, I have the updated value right there. So that's for the fir first package. Let's move on to the second package. Now, the second package is very easy to implement. Uh, it's a simple, I have a null file, uh, which isn't initialized to anything. And we call the, uh, the function take the image. So what this does is simply using the package so image picker and pick image and you can set the source. So I set the source to camera and then use the set state to the image. So this will look something like this. So if the file is null, I just have a placeholder, press this and the camera will pop up. I can take a simple picker, picture and we can add that to our container. So that's for the second patches. Let's go on to the third package. So for the third package, that's one of my favorites and it's the notification package. So with a notification package, I've created a class and all of this will be uploaded to GitHub so you can find this. Uh, so what this notification package has is that it has a a, let's show that. So it initializes a, a notification and I've just created a simple show notification which will show the notification right when we press the button. And you can have this to, to wait for a couple of seconds or minutes or days to whatever your feature needs. So this is an example. And if I press the button, it will pop up with a notification. And it's a really handy easy to implement notification package. Let's go on to the fourth package. Now the fourth package is also really easy to implement and this, it's this URL launcher package. So I have added two buttons, which will, one will open a normal browser and the other one will launch a web view with the site. So both sites will go to the Flutter site. So let's check the URL launcher first which will just open Chrome and go to the Flutter package. Uh, so let's show the other button, which will open our web view with the, pack, uh, with the Flutter site. It's, it's really easy to implement and really handy. Let's move to the f last package. So for the last package is a share package and it's one over here which we'll call the share function. And we use pass in a random string. So if I press this share button, we will get the share with uh, button sheet. So here you can share to Gmail or Facebook or whatever you want to do. Uh, and it's working correctly. So all of these uh, packages will be in the GitHub folder and I will link that down in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please let me know. And just before I end this, I will just give you a brief message from my sponsor and I'll see you in the next tutorial. If you're interested in any or all of these classes, it's definitely worth to check out Skillshare. Get a free month of Skillshare and stream more than 18,000 online classes on subjects like design, business and tech. Link is in the description.